A ticket agent sells 42 tickets to a play. The tickets cost $29 each. Use rounding to estimate the total dollars taken in from the sale of the tickets. Now, if we wanted the exact number, we could say 42, 42 times 29, and we could work out the multiplication. But they essentially want us to be able to do it in our head. We want to round the numbers first and then multiply. So if we want to round, and really we just have two places here, so if we're going to round anything, it's going to be to the nearest 10, because that's the largest place we have. So if we round 42 to the nearest 10, we've done this drill many times. 2 in the 1's place is less than 5, so we're going to round down. The nearest 10 is 40. We're going to round down to 40. 29. If we round to the nearest 10, 9 in the ones place is greater than well greater, greater than or equal to 5, so we round up. The nearest 10 is 30. And another way to think about it, just say, well, you know, 42, that's pretty close to 40. 29 is pretty close to 30. Those are literally the nearest multiples of 10 that I can figure out. So now I can multiply. So now you can multiply. And here, once again, we can use, you could call it a trick, or hopefully you understand why it works. But 30 times 40, instead you can say, well, this is going to be the same thing as 3 times 4, but we're going to put two zeros at the end of it. 30 times 40 is the same thing as 3 times 4 with two zeros. Let's do that. So you have 3 times 4 is 12, which we know. And then we have two zeros. We got that 0, so let's stick that 0 there. And then we got that blue 0 there. So let's put that over there. So we're going to have, they're going to have a, a roughly $1,200 taken in from sales of the tickets. That is our estimate.